This episode is brought to you by GoWad Mobility First. How, uh, how many sets? I was thinking 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Okay. I change your numbers up a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, add to it. Yeah, by that I mean a lot more. Workout of the day. What we're gonna start out with is going to be a strength component. Um, getting back, feeling good. I'm gonna test out some of this new gear. So we're gonna do a EMOM every minute on the minute of one minute. We're gonna go squ squat eight reps, and the next minute we're gonna go bench eight reps. So I'm going light. Obviously, first day back, really squatting. I'm gonna do. I'm doing box squats as well using the, mono, the rogue monoliths as well, uh, which will really help not having to take that step back, um, but still strengthening the leg. So I'm going 185, 185 for my reps. Eight reps is a lot. Um, you're not really getting much rest because your rest is gonna be the other minute where you're doing something else. So trying to hit something that is gonna be tough, but I don't go to failure on. So again, 185, 185. Uh, this this kind of will be a progression. I do this a lot during seasons when I'm training for strength. Uh, just a fun way to speed up your rest time and really get after it so i love it um these are always fun i i enjoy them so yep so again eight reps eight reps you can you know you can go less reps you can go higher reps lighter weight whatever you want they're really fun i'm going more than my partner because he's weak everyone knows that though so it's not really way a big more. deal obviously way more <laughs> those aren't real blues those are fake <laughs> fake plates <laughs> all right 10 seconds
Two more? Yeah. There you go. Oh. Yeah. Right at the buzzer. Oh, my, my back and my right shoulder. That was good. That was fun. Should have stayed 185 on the bench. <laughs> How many? You only missed that last set. I only missed the last set though. Oh my shoulder. It's good, it's fun. Nice way to combine some strength. A little bit of conditioning too in, in there. Volume. Volume. Strength. A little bit of heart rate up. Not getting much rest. It's good, I love that. That's my favorite way to do strength. Right, like, I think for CrossFit it has one of the best transfers. And I think it's just good, right? Like, intensity drives results. You can go bigger numbers and smaller, smaller rep schemes and still get the same benefit out of it, right? You're just basically determining your rest time, so. It's good. Right here. I don't care. It's a view. You, you want to go outside? I don't care. Bye bye me. Bye bye me. Right by, right by the dirt shit. You know? I like parties. <laughs> no room for air. That's actually me. I shit white. That's me. <laughs> I like to party. Look at these shades, dude. 18 gonna, minute AM wrap. I'm going to go so fast with this. So, what we're doing is an 18 minute AM wrap of max calories skiered and so we did this with the assault bike a couple days ago we don't, we don't have to talk about scores because obviously assault bike to assault bike is very different i want to say you were at altitude as well so so it'd be harder i want to say it makes it easier <laughs> the fan runs i want to say they're the, the fan runs faster yeah. <laughs> there's gonna be a party here we go 10 seconds Four eighty four. Dude. Like, I know I look at the clock until it was under nine. Dude, either did I. Four eighty four. So that's gotta be like I don't know, twenty six calories a minute, something like that. Yeah. But that last one you did it you did fourteen in like twenty eight seconds. Yeah. Oh man. That was good. I mean seen upper sixteens, low seventeens most time. Yeah. yeah. Dude, that was nasty man. I'll tell you what made me go faster was these Nike blades. <laughs> Fact. We, I, think the, I think going on a time domain instead of calories was a bad idea. Yeah. It was mine. It was my idea, so. I was like, I don't know if 30, 30 seconds is too short, you know, or. The, the thing about the bike is you get so much rollover. Yeah, exactly. You, you don't get any of this. No. You get half a calorie. Right. You know? I was going pretty, pretty yeah. hard. Yeah, I mean, 16, 1700, that's a good pace. Yeah. I like that. We'll have to do it with the rower now. And then the biker. Roar's gonna be a pain in the ass. Yeah. 
All right, so got a good workout in there, um, some strength, and then some conditioning uh, interval style, all of it. So I love an on the minute type, uh, type of workout. It's great to be able to push, find numbers, and really what it does, it kind of helps you grow as an athlete to know numbers that you can start to see what, how long workouts can be when you have those types of movements. And it's a great, it's a great workout to become intuitive with uh, timing for exercises, right, for workouts. So, oh, we got eight, eight squats in a workout. I kind of know what my time frame is and I know the weight that's gonna, what's gonna hurt me, what's gonna help me, what's gonna, how long they're gonna take. Um, so it's a great, uh, a great tool all around. And it also defines your rest periods, right? So your intensity, drives your intensity up a little bit. Great workout. And then obviously the partner workout there with a the, with the ski erg. Um, it's always fun to kind of progress and go through different machines and see exactly like what kind of paces you can hold for certain numbers back and forth with, with rest, again, defined, right? It's almost a one-to-one -one ratio. So great day of training. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got something out of it. Do the thing, subscribe, comment. And as always, don't forget to pay the man.